Yeah, Ashishree, now yeah. it's all yours. You can actually go through the details. Hi everyone, I'm SS3. I'm a part of iDiversity team. Like today, our agenda is to introduce our uh, iDiversity and provide complete details about this program. Uh, like Durga Sir mentioned, you can drop your questions if you have any in between and one of us will address them. Give me a moment, sorry. Yes, you all might know uh, Mr. Durga Gadiraju. He is the founder of ITUSC and chief instructor. He has about uh, 13, 13 plus years of experience in IT industry. And he has started ITUSity as a YouTube channel to share knowledge and uh, later as a US-based organization. You know, with an, uh, with an aim to build gap between co um, college education and industry requirements. Tell you more about our organi uh, organization. One second. So just a clarification, uh, that slide is based on uh, uh, world content. Actually, uh, now I have 20 years of experience. So now you can proceed. Awesome. So uh, our organization has over five years of uh, training, training school experience with more, more than thousands of students and professionals being trained. And we have state of art labs to provide real time experience while you're learning and deep expertise and strong relationship are with our clients is also a plus. Like you can see the uh, key statistics indicated here, uh, like training hours delivered and Udemy and YouTube presence and partnership with clients and placements provided. Placement uh, and the uh, lab usage, the number of users we have. To, I know, we emphasize on quality of learning right skills and how well it is delivered. And to, um, to get into the program, I'm sorry, I have some trouble. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so here you see the process you would go through in the program. First, you'll be onboarded, you, I'm not, during which we'll provide you uh, the lab access and material and also add you to our communication channels. From there, you will be starting your training I mean, during the training, you will also have you know, continuous program monitoring and support provided. And after the training, you will have to take self-assessments. Uh, there'll be open book assessments and you'll be free to Google around and find, you know, find the ways to address that question. And based on your performance in those assessments, we'll, uh, you will be you know, provided placement assistance and uh, we'll forward your resumes to our clients and thereby interview process. Yes, uh, these are more, um, more in detail. Uh, you, this is a self-based program. Uh, if you are a recent graduate or a fresher, then you're expected to spend 40 to 48 hours per week and that would go around 20 sorry two to three months and uh, and for a part-time candidate who is uh, interested in shifting to it industry uh, that person can spend 15 to 22 hours per week and it would be three to four months duration and this timeline depends mostly on your learning capabilities and how much time you spend uh, we, you will also be provided with three months lab access where you can access the content and practice. Uh, I don't know the benefits of this program mostly being like you will have a real time experience, like real time uh, scenarios, examples, and capstone style assignments. And you will have live sessions for doubt clarifications and a regular Slack based support. You will be added to our Slack channels where you can post your technical queries and mentors will guide you through. And during your training period, you'll also have continuous progress and issue tracking system 
on regular basis to uh, check your status and if you I mean to resolve any issues if you're facing in between. Uh, and we also have few system prerequisites uh, like a uh, uh, mandatory 4 GB memory or uh, mostly 8 GB is preferable. Free storage space of 8 GB and 64 bit OS with a Wi Fi connection of 10 Mbps. But we understand that no, not everyone will be accessible to these, but you know, it's a wise investment for your own future benefits. And um, and I know that most of you guys had uh, questions around these. Now, how would the process be and what are the details? I hope you're clear with this information. And if you do have any beyond this, you can post them on chat. Yeah, let's uh, pause here for a couple of more minutes and uh, see if anyone have any questions. Uh, yes, the uh, Gaurav has a uh, question. He's asking if this complete, uh, if this training is completely free. And yes, uh, you will be trained on Python and SQL, and it's free. Yeah, I answered that question. Uh, it is free for students who are uh, going college, uh, who are still going to college, the second year, third year, as well as fourth year students, and also freshers who are looking out for the jobs. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, but if you are already in a job and if you want to take this training, it is not free. It is only for the students, especially uh, we can, uh, so that we can help them to get placements at our client base. Hey, Ashish, there is a lot of uh, someone is not on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let me mute the others. Yeah. yeah. Now go ahead, yeah. yeah. Here you see uh, the content you would be going through during the program. These are the all the topics you would be covering for both Python and PostgreSQL. And it, I know this program is designed in such a way that uh, even though if you, you don't have a prior knowledge on these uh, languages, you can, uh, it doesn't matter you, it will start from the basic to advanced. So that will cover everything. And uh, this, this covers the, you know, until now it covers the training part. You, you, know, uh, you would, after the training part, you would undergo the assessment level where you will be given a couple of assessments which you have to take them and you will be uh, guided. If you have any drawbacks or if you have any gaps in those, then you will definitely be uh, guided in the right direction and pro uh, provide right uh, assistance to build your gaps. And after that, you will go through the placement assistance. placement assistance. So uh, during the placement assistance, we will help you in building your profile, uh, social, um, social profile and your CV and uh, go through the mock interviews, uh, help you in complete preparation and then forward your resumes to our clients. There, thereby you will go through the interview process and we'll give you a clear picture on this once, uh, once after you're done with your training. And the roles you would mostly interview would be uh, around the application development roles. Going for uh, application, going forward, uh, like I've mentioned, you will be working on our labs. Yeah, so uh, on our labs environment, and this is how the dashboard will look like. From here, Durga sir will take over and provide a demo on our labs. So uh, do you want to take over? Yeah, so let's wait for a few minutes here. And uh, if, if people have any questions, uh, uh, I will clarify and then we'll take it further. Uh, there are a few questions which I'm already answering in the chat. Uh, now I will be answering verbal voice also. So uh, let me take over the screen.
okay and then uh, i will get into the demo in a minute okay first uh, before getting into the demo let me actually uh, open my chat and answer all the questions that are outstanding and then we'll actually go for the demo so the first question is uh, um, from geet uh, surya vamshi he is saying that uh, uh, he is currently studying data science uh, will this help me definitely when it comes to data science there are three aspects to it one is the mathematical and statistical skills second one is the domain knowledge third one is technical skills uh, earlier the technical skills are not very important for the data scientists even today it is not uh, as important as the uh, math and uh, statistical skills or the, the domain skills however especially at entry level it is very tough for you to get into a role where you project yourself as a as a data science expert uh, or even a data scientist most of the scenario in most of the cases at entry level uh, you, you will be working on uh, a bit of data engineering more than data science unless and until you are familiar with python and sql and application development you will not be able to uh, take care of those data engineering tasks for that reason those who are aspiring to be data scientists if you are at entry level this course is very helpful you will get a very good knowledge about python and sql uh, geet i hope i answered your question if you have any follow up question you can uh, uh, ask in the chat then monojit is asking uh, uh, will we get any certificate after completion of the program uh, everyone will get a course completion certificate we are also planning to uh, launch itversity certified uh, uh, python and sql engineer itversity certified data engineer etc but for that we will be conducting uh, a proctored exam where we will be watching uh, by giving some scenarios uh it will be timed exam it will be 3 hours only those who clear the exam will get this uh, certified python and sql uh, engineer or certified data engineer certificate others uh, will be getting only course completion certificate if you have any questions around the certifications let us know as of now we are still deliberating whether we want to launch those certified uh, engineers uh, uh, engineers uh, uh, certifications Uh, after conducting the proctored exam, but whoever uh, will be part of this program will be getting uh, uh, a course completion certificate, and will be emphasizing on Python and SQL, whatever you have learned as part of the program. Uh, I'll pause here. If you guys have any questions around certifications, uh, uh, feel free to unmute and ask, or you can even uh, provide in the chat. Uh, I'll type type your question in the chat. I will clarify that, and then we can get into the fee. There are some questions around fee. I will also answer that question. So I'll give you fifteen to twenty seconds. You can unmute and ask the question around certification. If you do not have any questions within this fifteen to twenty seconds, so we'll move on to the next question. Uh, if you have a long question and if you prefer typing instead of unmuting, you can raise your hand or you can say that uh, I'm typing, and then you can. Uh, ask the question i will wait uh, before uh, getting to the next question so now i am pausing for 15 to 20 seconds okay it seems there are no questions related to certifications uh, now the next question from abhishek is uh, the fee for freshers so it is a completely free program uh, python sql will be taught But, uh, will be taught for free there are no monetary uh, obligations at all okay and it will be 2 uh, to 4 months depending upon your individual capability and pace some of you might be from non uh, english medium background it might take a bit more time for you to digest the skills based upon your uh, uh, strengths and weaknesses we will plan accordingly if you are already a graduate uh, uh, and if you are looking out for the jobs then you have to spend 40 to 48 hours uh, per week but if you are still a college going student you can spend anywhere between 15 to 25 hours depending upon uh, your uh, uh, other commitments uh, uh, unless and until you put uh, you put uh, 40 40 to 48 hours uh, effort uh, uh, consistently uh, you will not be able to complete this program within 6 to 8 weeks okay so that being said the 
uh, next question uh, uh, from so with respect to fee there is no fee it's, it's absolutely free we'll be providing lab access also uh, pb is asking i am fresher i wanted to do my career in data engineer what path should i follow which cloud is best for freshers to learn so cloud is to uh, to um, uh, to what we say uh, too ambitious at this time unless and until you are familiar with python and sql unless and until you are familiar with spark and kafka you should not get into cloud okay cloud is the tertiary component first you have to be very strong in python and sql then you have to get into the data engineering related topics then you have to get into the cloud so if you want to go go till the cloud after uh, two months of uh, uh, or three months of training on python and sql uh, uh, either we will charge money uh, for you to uh, to provide training related to data engineering and cloud or if you are good and if we uh, if if things work out we will even provide training for free but for now we are only focusing on python and sql which is foundation for data engineering okay that being said surya is asking uh, can you include statistics in this course it is not a data science course and hence will not be including statistics the course is primarily on python and sql okay so if you are looking for data science related course then this is not uh, related to data science at all this is a this is a foundational python and sql course uh, uh, after that you can pick whatever path you want and you can uh, explore other skills also while exploring the jobs at entry level i am getting lot of requests from our clients uh, to provide those resources who are really good in python and sql and that's why we have uh, decided to uh, to provide this training for free uh, for the college going students and also the fresh graduates who are looking out for the jobs so shashank is asking what kind of role we will get after completing the course uh, any entry level software engineer which requires some python and sql skills uh, so um, that is the type of role which you will be getting into this program is primarily meant for uh, college going students and the freshers uh, yeah uh, so first of all uh, it is not very good to uh, to get into the online sessions especially important ones like this with cryptic names uh, someone joined by nab jc uh, and he is asking i am looking for the job uh, i will be able to help you if you are part of the program at least for 2 to 3 months we will be conducting the assessments and we will see uh, if you are eligible for the uh, uh, for the placements and then we'll actually push you through to the placement assistance uh, part of the program okay so going forward once you are onboarded for today it is okay having this cryptic names all your names should be first name and then last name uh, your first name should start with capital letter your last name also should uh, start uh, start uh, with capital letter like deep saha uh, everyone's name should be like that cryptic names uh, uh, shorthand names uh, will not be entertained once you are onboarded into the program someone is not on mute uh, uh, please go on to mute for now if you have any question you can actually say uh, if, if you can ask the question in the chat uh, or if you want to unmute and ask first raise your hand we will give you an opportunity to unmute and ask okay so deep saha is asking is there any eligibility criteria no anyone from engineering background uh, uh, msc computers mca whatever is the background it doesn't matter you can give a try for a few weeks to see if you are able to pick up the skills if not you can drop off it's it's completely free no strings attached but uh, if you uh, put that consistent effort even if you are from non computer science background there is a possibility that you can uh, uh, get these skills and you can actually take it further Surya is asking, uh, will this program start from basics? Uh, there will be uh, it. It it will start from basics, but uh, in some cases, uh, if you are from non-computer science background, you might have to Google around to cover some of the gaps. You can also ask uh, the uh, the questions in the chat, and we'll try to do some research and uh, provide you the insights about what all you should focus on on top of our content. In some cases, we'll we ourselves will uh, provide that additional content. Uh, for those who are not from uh, 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 computer science or IT background, we'll try to Google around and we'll try to give the uh, free resources that are available online or low-cost resources that are available online. Uh, 
uh, in some cases we even uh, will conduct uh, uh, some of the live sessions to close those gaps okay so abhishek uh, is asking academics gaps matters for getting job i am not sure abhishek uh, about your question you can unmute yourself and you can ask the question Uh, Abhishek, you can unmute and you can ask the question. The question is clear; uh, is not clear to me. Oh, uh, okay. You have gaps in engineering. I I don't think it it matters. I can definitely help you if you provide the right commitment and if you have decent analytical and uh, uh, and uh, uh, comprehension skills. Okay, so if you if you exhibit right attitude if you if you are good at uh, analytics reasoning uh, or aptitude reasoning and comprehension then uh, definitely i will be able to place you i myself uh, is a high school dropout i got only 48% in my intermediate um, and uh, uh, i have four subjects uh, i have failed in four subjects in intermediate and i have given my first three year physics exam five times and uh, actually six times and i cleared in the sixth attempt and uh, still i built my career so i know how to uh, uh, push you through those uh, those uh, initial issues and get you the placement so i will definitely help you provided you have decent and uh, aptitude reasoning and comprehension skills if you don't have those three then it will be tough uh, it will not be a, a easy uh, uh, easy for you or me even though i have failed in my intermediate still my uh, iq levels and my aptitude skills are good that's why i'm able to succeed in my career uh, so definitely i can help you provided you show right attitude and have uh, aptitude reasoning and comprehension skills so you can self assess and you can uh, uh, then uh, put uh, your effort uh, in the right way to uh, to take this up if you have any questions you can unmute and ask i will be glad to clarify okay one more thing we are planning is we are also uh, plan, uh, planning to come up with uh, a small question bank related to aptitude and reasoning uh, as you go through the program once you reach certain milestones we'll also make sure that you practice uh, on your aptitude and reasoning so that you can crack the uh, aptitude and uh, reasoning tests uh, that might be conducted by some of the companies some of the companies still conduct those exams you need to be prepared for those also and we will provide resources for that as well you might have to pay but it will be payment to the third party vendor we will not be in between we will just provide you the direction you just have to take the direction and you have to uh, take the test practice and then uh, you should be able to uh, uh, close those gaps also abhishek do, do you have any questions here um, it is a very good question and most of you might be uh, uh, in the uh, shoe like you was um, and uh, i would i would like to uh, clarify on this because i myself have gone through that journey and uh, i can solve your problems okay so that being said now let me take some time to give the demo about the lab how it can make sure that Uh, how it can ensure you get the skills that are required for the job uh, uh, as you go through this program okay and once again i'm reiterating we'll start with python and sql as you gain the skills uh, once you we start looking through your assessments even if you do not get the job after python and sql what we'll do if we think you are capable of uh, sustaining uh, in it related uh, uh, jobs or if we think that we can provide the placements uh then uh, uh, then we will even provide uh, either training uh, for free with respect to spark kafka airflow and also cloud or there might be charge it, it all depends upon how it goes so at this time i can't promise but uh, uh, for present sequel will not be charging anything i think monojit have some questions uh, uh, yeah monojit you can ask uh, if you have any question i saw you have unmuted uh, just Uh, before few minutes if you have any questions i'll answer before i i get into the demo for the lab okay there seems to be okay no question that's fine so don't uh, unmute yourself because i am actually walking you through a very important uh, 
part of this uh, session which is nothing but the lab so stay focused and uh, try to understand what you will be learning uh, and how you will be learning okay so i hope everyone can see my screen uh, it should be uh, a browser and you should be able to see the g01.itversity.com uh, in the address bar and you should be able to see that terminal so i hope everyone can see my screen you can uh, confirm in the chat i haven't got any confirmation yet so are you able to see my screen yeah okay okay cool so now let me stop recording and start recording and then i'll take it further